we, everyone takes that risk. Everyone yeah. takes that chance. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's a fucking huge risk. Exactly. You know what I mean? So it's people that's lost their lives. Yeah. Doing what they what they what what, what they love doing. Yeah. It, it is a it is a love. It's like it's like it's like you're married. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like you you can't stop. You can't stop. Nothing gets in the way in your head, does it? No. Do you think no, that'll ever no. end? It won't. It won't. It won't. It won't ever end. The only time it end is when I'm I'm, I'm six foot under. The Killer Keller podcast. Killer Keller official .com. You need the Kellervision app. Twenty four seven mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top five subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK frontline. Created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast, God damn it. Where else would you want to be? It's a beautiful morning. Uh, time to get some graphing. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk, of course, each and every time. And um, yeah, people have got the Television app. Free download app, Android, iPhone, you know where to go. Boom, here comes the, here comes the lights. We are inside a very special place right now. One very dear to my heart. The, the Mecca, arguably, to hip-hop as a whole, but more so for the graph scene, uh, the new location, um, Hackney. It's easy to get to, no fucking around, with an OG in the game. FPS, DDS, the oi, mighty oi. ever. Yes, yes, girls. <laughs> oi, oi. <laughs> Yo. Good to be here, man. We, Always here. Bro, we pretty much set off a fucking podcast in conversation yeah, building up to man, this, bro. Yeah, man. Have to, have to, have to. It's good to talk, man. Good to talk. Good it to is. talk. It's a very different climate to how it used to be. I mean, for starters, we're in a whole different location. Yeah. This is fucking sick, bro. This is the hub. Mm. This is the hub. How yeah. are you feeling about the new location? Chrome and black, man. What? Yeah, everything's better in it. It's just like it's it's up and growing again now. Mm. We had that that place in in Bethnal Green for eight years. Mm. This is a new exciting chapter again. Yeah, it is. So yeah, it's, it's gonna go well. Obviously, it's easier, smaller, mm. but better. What's the current um, What's the current situation? Because obviously, we've got the lights that are at the front, you know, with the, the, the daylight lit with the windows now, which yeah. wasn't there with the original nah. place. And there's a couple of bits and bobs that you're just tweaking as you go along. Yeah, Is that yeah. Just keep on, just keep on like doing things all the time, making it better and better and better than the other shop. Mm. You know what I mean? And we are literally in the shop during working hours. So if yeah. we do have to disconnect for a second, it's because man's busy. <laughs> man's working, blood. <laughs> it's to do, blood. <laughs> man's working, man's working, but it's all good, though. Yeah, but you've it's been good in yourself. Everything's yeah, been right man, I've been good, man. been positive, mm. keeping well. Got my missus now. She's, like, whole, like, keeping me on a level, on an even level, you know what I mean? But, yeah, yeah that's a good thing. Yeah, hold that's tight, hold thing. tight, mums. You know what it is, you yes. know what I mean? Boys on TV, say what? Oi, oi. <laughs> <laughs> and how's, how's uh, Zombies? Is he good? Zombies good, man. He's out painting, yeah. so it's all good. He's showing me what he's done or send me some pictures. Yo! So that's all good. You guys uh, live and breathe it. And yeah. I think that is, the, that is the sentiment, not only about the shop, but yeah. about its development and how you got to this place with this shop. Let's get into the shop first. Where did it all start for you? And, uh, yeah, building for me, the, yeah, it all started the when they was in Shoreditch, and then, obviously, they moved down to uh, Bethnal Green, mm. and then from then we had to build the shop, like, from, from the ground up. Mm. Because it was a boxing gym at first. So we had to strip the whole the whole floor, doubt all them, man, built the office. I'll take that we away. Put all the all, all the work me and done cementing, plastering, built a brick wall, and the thing's still standing. <laughs> <laughs> see? It ain't just all about graphs, so you gotta put the grunt work yeah, in. Exactly, see? it was all the groundwork, you know mm. what I mean? To get to where it is now, you have to take it half and say, D. Bear love for this, what you've love done. For us, bro. And Yanni as well. Yeah. Bear love. Yanni, hold tight, Yanni. Of course, I'm another instrumental character. Yeah. It's like, you know, the, the, the three good things come in threes. Exactly, exactly. Oh. That's chrome and black. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there ain't no third in that. Exactly. I could be the and. <laughs> <laughs> um, and again, you know, there's traits and things that I guess you see in the customers that come into the place because over the years, you know, I'm not suggesting for a second that, you know, there's still the written rules of graph, yeah. but the but the generational shift and things move and ebbs and flows, right? Yeah, like, exactly. You must have exactly. seen a lot of things come in trends and... Exactly. You see so many different people, like young, old, and it's just like, you lot just take my hat off to what you lot doing. Mm. You know what I mean? You've got all the younger generation who's out there smashing it. Mm. 
but sometimes people need to learn the history as graph as well. Yeah. You know, for sure. Like people's names, other people writing the same names is do do your homework first. Yeah, that's interesting you say that because there is a lot of um, contra contrast in names of vaguely the same, yeah. almost the same. But I like to think with a with a shop that has a scene built within it, there's a there's, there is that code of conduct of knowing yeah, exactly, your history, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. For us, that like when how we grew up, how we learned about graph was just going around the estates. Battering the estates, <laughs> but when we were younger, we're talking nineties, we of yeah. course. We're talking retrospectively. We had yeah. no fear, but as I say, can't keep, can't keep the the vandal out of me. <laughs> it's part of my DNA. I still write to this day, and I ain't gonna stop. Tell me about that internal um, internal uh, demon within you. The the thing that that because often that that gets overlooked with celebration and 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 uh, mystique, you know. The, yeah. But there is a real there's a tough reality to that. That is something exactly. that's it's inside you, isn't it? Yeah, because like for me, when you've got good people right around you and it's like you see them what they're doing, but that you're in your house and you're you're writing a phone number down, but you're still somewhere along the line, you're sketching somewhere. Mm. It's 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 in you and it's just you try to stop. You hide you hide the pens, but you you still find something to start writing with. It's crazy. <laughs> Where does it come from though? What is that addictive quality to it? I don't know, I, th I think it's just part of my DNA. It's like it's mm. just all wrapped up now. It's just <laughs> I don't think the only day I'll stop is the day I'm dead. And that's the only time I'll stop. And that ain't going to be for a while, all right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, right. Because I, I alluded to this with Zombie mm. um, when I first did... He was one of the first persons I did the podcast yeah. with. You know? And I said to him, that transfer of, I used to rack, now yeah. I'm protecting. Exactly. <laughs> it's exactly, like a whole exactly, different exactly. mindset. For here, for me, it, there'll be people, if you didn't have the, the cages up, you would have them people that would just raise a couple cans and, and think nothing of it. But then it's like, when we were younger, we, it, it, we didn't care. We just go into all them big department stores and raise all the, all the cans of paint, all the spectres, all the hammer rights, everything. Mm. But now it's just how it's transformed to buying paint and all different brands of paint. Mm. It's crazy. We didn't have that choice when we were younger. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just a couple of things that used to have and that was it. Yeah, you, you made the most of it. Now you got all different things: Beltons, Montana Blacks, 94s, yeah. Flames, Cobras, mad <sighs> loops, different yeah, pressured cans, exactly high yeah. pressure, low pressure. You got all different, all the nozzles. I used to go around nicking my mum's nozzles off the off the off the <laughs> sprays in the, in the kitchen. Like, all the air, where's my spray? Where's the nozzle gone? <laughs> yeah, that's always get in trouble. But she knew. My mum said, "My mum said, search me when I said come out the house." But I said, dash all the paint out the window. Really? And then, yeah, she used to pat me down, see if I've got pens on me, everything. Yeah, it's funny. That it's is funny. mad. <laughs> That's, you're subscribing to the life and... Yeah. Did you, uh, right, so in that time, how old would you have been? When I, when I was there, it was like 15, 16. And in that time, I mean, there's a case study in this, I'm pretty sure, somewhere, somewhere in the ether of... 90s graph mm. of 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 a, a mental state that because that's 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 uh, that's a, that's ADHD right that's yeah. habitual exactly because obviously back then we didn't no one ever knew all this like ADHD and all this no one ever knew that mm. it's like for me I didn't I didn't when I went to school I didn't want to learn I said bunk off school yeah. all the time yeah. then go and link up with them um, D yeah. event go rack them go racking go yeah. everywhere like St Mary's Cray so go chow for a letter mark to get all our travel cards. You know, it's, it's so different. Uxbridge, Watford. There was not, I don't think, when we were younger, there was nothing safe. Mm. It's just go and get everything. But yeah, it's just, it's a go home, so I hide the paint so I couldn't bring it in the house. And if I did, I have to wait for them to go to bed and then creep upstairs, hide the paint. Yeah, man, it's funny. It's just funny. My mum raided my house, like raided my bedroom, took all my paint, all my pens, photos, and to this, well, Obviously, she passed away now, but Rest in peace. to this to this to this day, she she never ever told me where where they was. Really? Yeah, there was like I think there was like eight cans of Chrome Spectra. There was like smooth rights. Oh. Um, there was like my my poster markers, my ink. Yeah, she dashed it all away. But you know, she's the first person who bought me a pen when I was <laughs> really? younger. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh from, shit. From Brixton Chemist. <laughs> really? Had the poster marker, and uh, she bought me a bottle of Edin ink. And then we went up to go and visit my nan and granddad and we jumped on the bus and I ran straight to the back of the bus and I started writing my name and she went, if you get caught, I'm not with you. 
I said, but you paid for my fare. Mm -hmm. So they're going to know that you're, I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, Accomplice. <laughs> exactly. She was my accomplice. She, yeah. she would have been my co -D. But yeah, it's just, you know, rest her soul. Mm. Like, she, she done good for me. She done yeah. good for me. She took the she took the contents of what she took away from you. Yeah, she, well. she gave it to me, took it away, but then I just took it back. <laughs> Yo, that's deep, isn't it? Uh, I've never asked this before, but I think it leads to a good point of view. Like, when you've got parents that obviously want the best for you of that mm. age, and they want nothing but, but they see that there's a, an ability and an, and a, and a drive to do something, yeah. anything with your life. The accomplice, quote unquote. Exactly. There's a reality to that, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, but for me, I, they always should try and tell me that put me on the, on the right path. But I just always should do it the wrong way around. You know, I'm gonna try and give me good advice, but I don't want to listen to the I'll do the bad advice. Mm. And it's like my remember my dad said to me, "Where when you get older, you're gonna learn. Mm. You're gonna learn." And obviously, He's right. I learned. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's this, it's just crazy. It's a mad circle, mm. but you know what? I'm still here. Mm. Still writing, still doing what I love to do. As I say, I'm a vandal. I'm a vandal at heart. Yeah, and that never leaves you. What happens though? And correct me if I'm wrong. This is only for all the other podcasts you understand. Uh, time, you build up your style. Mm. Style gets better. Exactly. You become quick, nimble. Exactly. Actually, you probably become a little bit more brazen. Exactly. exactly. You get really good at what you do. Yep. So age actually defines you a lot more, and that's exactly what... you mature. You're yeah. like you're like a cheese, isn't it? You look, you're just maturing and maturing and maturing. <laughs> yeah, seriously. You, see, you over the years just get better and better and better and better. When you're younger, it was all like hand styles. You just put your tag anywhere. Mm. You just didn't care. Even if it come out real shit, yeah. it's just like it's there. It's mm. like someone's gonna see it. And obviously, like when you're hitting buses. That, is, that, that, was a, that was a rolling canvas because that used to go all over London. And then obviously, once you get better and better and better, yeah. I said, they need, like, you go do legal walls, you, you just practice, you just lock everything down, like what, what, what's coming away into your head. Yeah. I said, once, once it's done, you can't, you just look back and think, yeah. And yeah. the next time you do something, you do it better than that. Yeah. So it's always, you're always going to get better and better and better. You're always going to progress all the time. I have to say, when I think of ever, and I remember you so well back in the day, right? Um, I mean, you're 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 a spokesperson for the scene. You're the people's choice. Mm. You, it just feels like that way. It's like you you really, uh, even as a personality, you're so warming and connecting yeah. with people and shit. It's kind of hard to imagine ever not being satisfied with what he does or having to do it again. And because for for me as a fan, first, mm. it's, that's. It was always you had good practice. It was constant. Yeah. It's mad to think that you... constant yeah. so from like, like from '87. Really, that's how like, like ever really come. How I started to write ever because at first I used to write Sire, and then my pal was writing ever, and then we both swapped, and because he liked to write Sire, and I said oh, I'll write ever, and I, then after that once it, it was for me that it was so easy. It was all joined up. It's it, game over, yeah, and it's. It's never changed. It's always been kind of the same tag, always. That's bonkers that you... How old had you been then? I was, when I first, like, 87, so I must have been about 15, 16. 15 or 16? What was I doing when I, I was 16? Yeah, about, yeah, about, I think, 50, yeah, about 15. Because that's when, that's when I was, like, first got put into TKS. And it's, and, and it's still... Whoa. It's still around, around my old estate, because we had the parapets. And they, they've knocked all the parapets down, but you've still got ever throw up, and it's got ever TKS eighty seven, eighty seven. And when I when I saw it, I nearly fell off my back. I mm. thought, oh my gosh, that's still there. Curiously, looking at all the paint we got around here, we'll yeah. do a little film show you around. But um, do you think the paint from back in the day was more serving as a, it stained more? It was longer yeah. lasting. I certain, do feel like certain, that. Certain, 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 like the chromes, like the chrome spread, like the chrome spectres. There's, there's still dubs on the Metropolitan line, like the big DDS one near Preston Road. Mm. That was in Spectra, really? and that's still there to this day. You had the Diabolical Dubsters. Mm. That was there for, what, 20, 25, 26 years? Mm. And then they, they all went over it, and now they've knocked it down. So It's probably you, still there. <laughs> Even though it's knocked down, it's still there. <laughs> it's still there, it's still there. That, that, see, that was, that, was, that was the iconic of the big the Metropolitan, mm. that Diabolical Dubsters. You come of a time where, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, because obviously my, 
lineage of timeline is all over the shop, especially mm. with all these podcasts trying to figure them all out. But, <laughs> you know, I was a young buck, you know, um, uh, the Rude Boy, the DDS Rude Boy uh, yeah. train, like these moments and, and you know, Alex and Boss really at it. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it just, that 90s era uh, really fucking... Was you, ruthless. Was ruthless. Ruthless. Then, like, we'll see, like, you had the uh, plug, Koza, yeah. yeah. Mir was already there yeah. from back in the days. Yeah. Like, once them not come out, touch, they, yeah. they smashed it. Oh, mate, touch. Oh, fuck. Yeah, take. Yeah, take. Cos. Yeah, all, all, all of bang, them, they, they, they smashed it. For me, they are DDS. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, they, they blew it up. You know what I mean? If it wasn't for them, look, I don't think that it would be how it is today. Yeah. They, with, Yan, they all blew it up. Yeah, they really they blew did. it up. It was it's nice. It was nice to see as well. Mm. You know what I mean? But as I say, for me, like even like with teach as well, they smashed it. Diet, diet, teach. Ooh, what can yeah, you say? What can you say? Give me a give me a typical. Well, right, let's round it off to an age. Twenty two year old ever in the mix in the height of DDS. Give me give me a, a daily scenario because I think it's really hard for people to. You've explained the, the manoeuvres that you had to make from a fam, family point of view. Explain a day in the life. It was just like, for me, day in the life, it, it was just, everything was just different. It was, like I say, from when I was younger, I would say, like, to win his TKS as well. Yeah. It's like, you meet up, finish your road, go out, go racking, come back, you got all your, you ain't, you ain't going home until the last train. And you're battering everything that's in sight, mm. carriages, Ripping all the lights out of the trains on the big mat, frying them at the back of the driver's cabin, ripping the seats out, yeah, smoking, smoking weed on the back of the train, like fighting all the time. It was funny. It was funny. It was funny. And there was passengers there, and it's, I'm just yeah, trying to create the picture. Sometimes there was passengers there, but they'd just get off, walk, walk through the other carriage, and they did leave us to. As soon as they're gone, bang, that was it. Free fall, pens out, everything. All you could smell is ink. You know, it's like it just it was lovely. It was lovely. It was lovely. And then you back home and you do exactly the same thing again the next day. You're just doing it day after day after day after day after day after day. It's like, until you think, you know, I can't be asked to go racking today. If, does it feed Does it feed, feed the fire? Does the vandalism act, aspect feed the fire? Because obviously, again, we're, we're in a, the future of art stores here, yep. for real. But there's an aspect of aggression. Mm. One that's actually... I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm sure it's out there, but DDS set the precedent with a handful of others. Yeah. You know? But it's all, for me, it's all, like, really the same kind of people. It's, everyone just branched off to different, like, make a different crew. Yeah, because you had TKS, you had mm. SBS, yes. PFB, you had VFL. TU. TU, TU, back in the day, smashed it. Dangerous. Like, rest in peace, raise yeah, evil, yeah, 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 hell. Yeah, day. Like, pff, you know, they smashed it, you know what I mean? Mm. Steam smashed it, mm. you know what I mean? Mm. Bear, bear, bear old <laughs> Big writers, up my boy. It's like bear old yeah. writers, it's like, you look at them and you think, yeah, you actually took it to another, you took it to another level. Yeah. And then we took it to another level as well. Mm -hmm. So it's like, there was like, what they'd done in their, their time, and it's what we'd done in our time, but they're still doing things today. Mm. And mm. that's what I love, all old school writers are coming like back out again, doing what they're doing, it's just like, it's like, I don't know, it's like a midlife crisis for everyone. Everyone back out again. See, everyone back out. But like, and I said this to, to Zom, it's like, and a lot of other people actually, when you see the paint on those, from the old school artists, suddenly to be back in the mix, yeah. feeling the energy, it's like, it's like upgraded. Exactly. Event, he stopped writing for ages. Mm. And now he's back out Big again. Big up event. You know what I mean? Tox, yeah. back out again. Kiss 42. Yeah, Kiss. <laughs> Oh my god! You got Ace Me, you got uh, yeah. Tuba, mm. Name. Yes, yeah. Come on, Name. Come on. Listen. Yeah, I lo loved, I loved that guy to pieces. Loved that guy to pieces. Mm. You know what I mean? They say everyone, cause of all city. Yeah. There's not, no one can't take that mantle off him. Nah, no, no at one. all. Uh, diet, diet. Consistent, always there, always there. Three, four pieces a day are called, that's diet, man. And using the smallest amount of cans. Yeah. Like, no, it was all, say, say that's the impression I get, it's, yeah. It's, all right, diet sick, diet Do you think sick. that's part of the... Because when you think about what's in abundance and available now, I kind of like the restriction comes creativity, the less paint. What can you do with the minimal basic paint? What can you do with that? 
You could do anything you exactly. want. You could do anything you want. Diet, anything. I think, set the... I think. Diet, the only one know that it goes out every single day and paints every yeah. bare time, so... What he's done, it must have done over a thousand pieces. Yeah. But he's, every single one with the characters, it's all sick. Yeah. Tell me about the lines back in the day. Which ones did you operate in most? Which was your favourite? Which were, you know... The and... two favourite ones yeah. was the Metropolitan and the Bakerloo line. If you just get the Amersham fast, mm. it either it, it stop, stop at Finchley Road and then bang, it can either go Wembley Park yeah. or the next stop, Harrow on the Hill. Yeah. So you're like on the back of the... You're surfing at the back of the train. Mm. Uh, you're just battering the outsides of the trains, flying down the tracks. Yeah, and this like was that. before overgrounds and all that sort of thing. Yeah. Do you think this is contributive to why, and this is only my personal girls and buyers, right? North Wheezy, mm. because of the Finchley thing and because of the Queen's Park thing, this sweet spot of North West, it seemed yeah. to be the... You know what I mean? It yeah. seemed to have a lot more... That's what... Oh, this is North West. They, they, they had some sick writers. It's like you, you think people coming from South... Going up to all these ways, like mm. Ritmansworth, mm. and mm. it was different. Chalfort and Latimer, just to get travel cards. Yeah. So we like, man, we're fighting over an adult all, all zone travel card. You know what I mean? Just like, yeah, I'm, I've got free ride all day. And I'm like, even if I get stopped, phew, there's my travel card, adult. Like, what? Yeah. Zone 5 was laughing back then. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But now, what they're, what, what they're charging, where's the card? And nah, it's wrong. Do you remember back in the day, there used to be the touts that would have finished off, you know, you've got like five hours left of the day, but yeah. they've got this six, zone six. Exactly, like, you'll see, oh, let me enjoy that. Come on, give me, give me like three pound, or two pound or three pound. Yeah. Like, man, I've got like one pound fifty. Mm. It's like, yeah, go and take it. And then you're laughing, isn't it? Mm. From a life task point, point of view, and obviously we're pixelated here, and uh, yeah, this is all for design of your ears only. Mm. Uh, what was the most radical manoeuvre you know, you you personally had ever done uh, in the uh, in the lifestyle of a graph writer. You know, like we were talking just then about the the, mm. the people that the touts and whatnot. Is there anything you had to do that was like, all right, you know, I'm just gonna have to pull this move and get the fuck out of here? Obviously, when you're when you're racking, I used to, I used to like sometimes like to pull up and look out like wait at outside shops. I used to see like the person go behind the counter, and I used to crawl in on my hands and knees so he couldn't see me, and then crawl around to where the paint was, like put eight cans of spectra down my trouser, crawl back out again, hide the paint and then like look, crawl back in again. It's just everything everything was different. It's just like Man. couldn't I wasn't gonna pay for paint when I like when I was younger like that. No mm -hmm. nah, man, the paint that was free. Like D was the first person who took me racking. And like when I <laughs> The when irony, I, the yeah, <laughs> That's what I'm saying enough I, I picked up the I picked up the can of paint. I'm like, yeah yeah. And I, I've, I've gone to put it and I went, no, 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 it's, it's on top, it's on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they went, they went, yeah, just take it, man. And I just went, like, oh, no. Then I went, just put it. And I just took like six, seven of them. And How old have you been about? So we're talking about late teens, 87, 88? No, before, I think before that, so eight, 86. Wow. And there was a fear for it. You did feel, you were like, I'm stealing here. This is. Yeah, well, obviously, because I thought I was going to get, I thought I'd get caught, innit? Yeah. I'd be off just my luck, just get caught. But no, once I once I've done it, then obviously you get brazen after that. You start going yeah. in and like, raising little bits and pieces. Yeah. Or like with my ex-missus, I should put back, like paint in her bag and say, go, you go first. I ain't got nothing on me. She's, it's all in her bag. <laughs> what? <laughs> You don't know those famous I accomplices. Get, I ain't getting cool. <laughs> <laughs> but it's no, a pack but... mentality, isn't it? DDS was definitely that. That had a pack mentality, yeah. wasn't it? There were so there's, there's so many DDS. It's it's it's, it's crazy people that mm. they like ain't seen for so mm. long, and it's, it's mm. they're, they're still doing it. And what when I see like on some on some videos, mm. I think wow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Look, you look just took it to another another level, mm. another level. But as I say. DDS is always going to be DDS. Mm, they made such a heavy, and still do, a heavy impact. How did you get put in? Was it Zom? No, um, Shoe 2. Oh, tight Shoe 2. <gasps> me and him was working in the shop, in the old shop. Really? Yeah, it's funny. Shoe 2 is funny. Shoe 2 was funny. There's a gentleman I'd love to get on the show. Wow. Yeah, he's funny. Uh, he's funny. And how did that come about? What was the intro on that conversation? No, it's just like, when I think when, when he come in, and it's like we started like started talking, and then it's just like because I ain't seen him for like so long, and I thought, bro, that's you too. <laughs> yeah. Shit, Me. you know what I mean? It's just like yeah, them like we used to like go out like paint painting now and again. And obviously, when we was working in the shop, 
It was it was just funny. It was he he, he was a character. He was a character. He was a character. Did what? How? Uh, this is the fanboy in me kicking in. I always imagine like, because obviously there was there was two places where you got where you all kind of orbited around, um, where you'd all meet up. But was it? Would you know? Would 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 all the likely characters and names be in the same spot at any given time? Like, would you would no. you be constantly meeting up? No, people people just be meeting up all over the place. Really? You know, what I mean, no one really kind of made really one spot. For like, for, for me, the Metropolitan Land was either Finchley Road or Harrow Hill. Mm. That's where you know, you meet up. You you always see writers down there on the end of the wall sitting there. But yeah, it's just as I say, Finchley Road. So meet people at the back of the carriage. On the on the platform, mm. or you go to uh, the Bakerloo, Harrow Woolstones, meet up at e or Elephant and Castle. Mm. It, it it was different, but you, you never you used to meet all the time. Mm. Cause everyone would be with different people, so you, sometimes you can't you won't see someone for like a year, two years. Really? You know I mean? Yeah, but you, st you see. This is before tags. Instagram, before the phones. This is before everything, man. Exactly. They had no phone. When they had no phones back then, to take take write numbers down on a piece of paper. I heard stories that. Um, and big up idea all day. Yeah, um, idea. When you guys knocked for him and he wasn't in, you'd used to write on his door. <laughs> so he had like loads and loads of. We were here. We've gone out. We knocked for you. Look at all of his fucking front door. <laughs> oh man! If someone done that to my house, my mum. I think my mum would have killed me. <laughs> She'd have chased him down. Yeah, oh, you couldn't write that. Well, you did. No, you know yeah. what I mean? Just sit there sometimes. I say you should go. I remember to go around the estate. The, the council used to come and paint all the all the shed doors. They said, get to one end, and I'm walking behind them, battering all the doors again. So really? what they just painted, they got to come back and paint again. I used to do it all <laughs> the time. They used to hate me around it. They used to hate me. I had so many, like, me, there was, I think there was, at one time, there was a Ray Ever in the estate, like a big, massive, cro like a chrome and oh blue. Oh, my. They don't um, realise how much that shit's worth now, yeah. when you think about it. Yeah, the, the, you don't, with that, down in the garages, all the garage doors was done. There was dubs. It was the estate was battered, yeah. battered. But for me, that's that was my that was my canvas as well. That was my practice ground. Mm. You know what I mean? So. But yeah. they knew where you lived. They would have known where you lived. No. Okay. Every time he used to come on top, I said like dust out one way, go through some other other block and jump over the back of my garden, and just sit there for a little. While. So no one didn't know what way I was going. Yeah, so it was good though. I was a little escape artist. Don't worry about that. I, I was <laughs> Don't worry, we got this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Don't gone. you worry about it. Gone, so. gone. But yeah, it's, it's good. But as I say now, obviously I'm getting older. I, I can't, I can't be asked to run nothing. If I got my scooter, I'm off on my scooter. Yeah, but the, yeah. Oh, this is the new tech. Yeah, um, but this, obviously it's my my missus keeps me on a on an even even kill. So, mm -hmm. and that's good. A big up trees. Yeah, that's another thing as well. The, you know. All jokes aside, if you've got a stable uh, family and you know that's uh, that's worth keeping in it. Exactly, you can't lose. You can't don't want to lose nothing now. No, you know what I mean. You're back to square one again. So yeah, it's different. It's different. All right, come on. It's a big question. Talk to me about a mission. I say, I say, Br uh, Bricky, when um, Don Bricky went down there to see the to see the trains. This there, mm. it was like. You know, like you're watching Simpsons and he dribbles over donuts. It was like you're dribbling, like, <sighs> dead, dead. <laughs> oh, man, it's just, it was so, it was, it was different. It was, yeah. it, for me, that was the, that was the kind of the best things of my life. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Once I started hitting trains, yeah. that was it. Just ne never, ever wanted to look back. And this isn't the kind of thing that we advocate, by the way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, you know. Vandalism's bad. It's not good, but, um. It takes, you know, this is this is the funny thing, and I talked to Ayn about it. Um, with all the um, scenarios of that day, of that time, mm. and the work that was put in, and the co the cost that came of that, um, surely in 2021 to 2022 and onwards, to have this here that is a self-serving, tax-paying shop, and and also let's remind ourselves. Shoreditch was a dump. Exactly, exactly. Now it's a tourist exactly. spot. Exactly, same as Bethnal Green. Bethnal Green was a dump. It just seems yeah. like it, it, every time there's more vandalism, it, everything kind of goes up. Yeah. So it's just, it's, it's, it's different. It's, it's so different. It pays itself almost, doesn't exactly, it? Exactly, exactly, exactly.
And I can't help but think, and this is just m my humblest opinion, this didn't come out of anyone else's mouth. Um, when, when an opportunity for something to change occurs, graph becomes the conduit for that. Exactly. It's a po it, turns in, it turns it into a place of interest, doesn't it? Exactly, because you've got, you got tourists, got everyone coming down, people coming from different countries. Mm. They're taking pictures, like they've, they've landed in the country over here. First thing, they come straight to Chrome and Black yeah. and get their yeah. paint. As a, when I said to you earlier on, like, when the likes of that tea, like, likes of tea kid, yeah. you had Part Ivory. Yeah. And, um, part One came through as well, didn't it? Yeah, then you had um, Doom. Cope. MF Doom. Yeah. Coke, like Coke, all them. It's just yeah. you're seeing these people in magazines, mm. and then like now you're just looking at them. They're, they're in your face. Mm. It's like wow, am I really? Am I dreaming? while I'm still reading the magazine, but it's, that is so sick. You know what I'm saying? But it's like they're, I'm, I'm, everyone said, "Why don't I get a picture?" What I don't, why do I need to get a picture? They're, they're just like they're just a, a they're just a writer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like you're you're famous. Mm. Well, I don't have to stand in next to you and get a picture. And say, yeah, look. Yeah. I'm standing next to I'm standing next to T Kid. All that. Mm. It's like. You're just, you're just, you're, I'm just like you. Mm. It's when that day when Park, Park One said to me, I ain't could never forget this. He said, when did you start? I said, like, 85. He went, shit, that's the last time I done my top to bottom whole car in 85. And I just looked at you and I thought, wow, I've just started. Wow. That's like passing the baton on yeah, internationally. You just done your, you just done your last top to bottom whole car in 85. I'm like, wow. Is there any, was there any point where you were like... Because you see these people in the flesh and obviously you're never disappointed. Mm. But there is a reality that sets in where it's like, OK, I've hit that marker. Exactly. I've, I've made, quote-unquote, I've made it to this point that I dreamt of. Yeah. What's after that? What's your thoughts after that? Because you're standing there with Tiki or you're painting with... Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's just like, you know what? It's just like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to up my game. I'm going to carry on practising and carry on practising because what he, you see him doing... Like all the little arrows pointing off and characters, it's like, well, I need, I need, I need to get to that point now. Mm. You know what I mean? Just go there, do some nice production things. It's, it's different. Like, you think when I go out painting with name, mm. it's, it's so nice. Turfa, mm. it's so nice mm. it's, everyone does some nice things. Chick as well. Mm. It's just, it, it's, oh. it's crazy. It is crazy. Yeah. And it's, it's like you, you up your game as well. You're constantly learning, though. Yeah, always, always, always learning, always learning, always learning, always. No you're wonder never gonna you've been passed for you've, you've been mates for ages because well, one of the same. Bro. Twelve years old, man. Twelve years yeah. old. Twelve years old. Me and grew up together. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's a case. It's not. It, they don't even speak highly of each other. It's just the unwritten rule that they yeah. just no, they nod and know. Exactly. <laughs> when, he, when he wants to have a go at me, he just looks me <laughs> in, and he just starts laughing. Yeah, you know. I mean, sometimes I don't answer my phone. I, I forget. Like, I never. Obviously, I wasn't used to a phone before. Mm. So like, I just I just use my phone like a walkman. You know. What yeah, I mean? yeah. It's not the easiest easy. for the guy to get hold of. You know. Yeah, this was, trust this was, me. This was months of planning. Trust right? me. Yeah. yeah. Even, even though he's here. Even though exactly. he's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Soon, soon, soon. Even this my missus can't get hold of me sometimes. Yeah. Why didn't you answer the phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't even hear it ringing. I, I couldn't. I could see it ringing. <laughs> <laughs> I cut that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, trees. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. You know, you know. She, I'm sure she knows. Yeah, same as who is it like when um, phoned me the other day, mm. we went to go and do something, but I was just I wasn't in the, in that right frame to do anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Obviously, because I knew I had work. Mm. I thought, you know, I can't stay out till mad times and then come home and get up again in the morning, come down to here because mm. this is like further for me to come. Yeah. See, so you're, you're you're talking like need two hours travelling. Yeah, that's right. But it's well worth it, though. Yeah, it's well worth it. Hundred percent. What are we saying on the future of this business here? And I don't mean the business of Chrome and Black. I mean, because you know we've alluded to the the fact that you know graph is changing. And I might add as well, man, like props all day because if it weren't for the likes of man like you guys. The, we wouldn't have anything to talk about for starters. Exactly. There's no exactly, debate. Exactly. Graph will just suddenly be the street art thing that just pops out of nowhere. There's been a lot of heavy de mental development in in society's understanding. Like you said, there was no such thing as mental health back then. No. There's a new perspective. Where do you think the future lies with with Graph? Oh, I just hope that it's, it's it's gonna it's gonna help people. It's gonna make it's, obviously if someone's if someone's got like Asperger's, was it Asperger's? 
That's I suppose it's, they got that. Then the people that could just sit there, look at something once, pick up something, and then do that exactly the same thing. Mm. And it's like it's nice to see, it, like, obviously, like with mental health, it's just, it helps people. It just relax, it relaxes my mind. You know mm. what I mean? Puts my mind at ease. I ain't got that, all that stress and worry. Mm. It just like goes out the window. Mm. You know what I mean? It's just carry on doing what I'm doing for. Yeah, this is nice. And then I, I enjoy it, I get the buzz of it again. Mm. You know what I mean? I go home and it's like, yeah, let's show the, let's show the missus, oh, look, that's what I've done this. You know, that's nice, you know. Mm. So back, I'm back on the paper again, mm -hmm. sketching again. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's crazy, but obviously it's, it's, it helps a lot. It's helped me anyway. You know F what I mean? FBS, tell me about the crew. FBS, Firebugs. Yeah, come on. Well, this is it's getting F some history. Yeah, F FBS is there. Mm. Is there. For me, like, name, plug, me, Koza. Yeah, too cold. Bear, it's bare people. Chick, FBS, yeah. smash it. It's just, and it's that's the worse. thing. It's like you, you you said something a little bit ago. You know that the the formation that 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 creates different crews and fractions within a crew and stuff like that kind of reminds me of like how bands used to organically grow. Mm. You know, bass players would swap with guitarists. Exactly, da, da, da. exactly. It's Try and the learn, same yeah, learn, learn different things, isn't it? Yeah. So it's obviously if you're in one crew, then. You got some people that's in like forty five thousand crews, but you, you're gonna sit there and put every single crew up. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just me to stick to the the main that the main three like TKS, mm -hmm. FBS, DDS. Mm -hmm. For me, that's that's they're the they're the, they're the three crews. The they're legendary. The crews. Th these are legendary. I mean, you know, TKS. TKS yeah, TKS. There's a bunch of been them. going for what mm. thirty plus years. Yeah. I think that's the old, I think that's the oldest crew. Yeah. And then obviously like. He had the KTC as well. Mm. Then he got Ace Me. Yeah, he's just, okay. a, he's just Ace another character. Yeah, but he's, he got <laughs> he got Tuba. Yeah, you know what I mean. So Reese, hold tight, Reese. Yeah, Mister, yeah, Mister oh. Murder. Yeah, jeez. Oh yeah, God. man. Too many people to met. Yeah. Too many people yeah. to too many people to to, to mention. You know what I mean? It's just, but it's just the select the select few mm. that you really have it. That's in your circle. Mm. You know what I mean? That's the ones. And hold up to South London crew as well. Yeah, all East the, as well, you know. All the South, all the yeah. South Vandals, South East Vandals, mm. East London, North London, West. Mm. But everyone's out there banging it up. Um, Zom said something to me once that was really like a good comparable to the means of like selling paint to somebody. Mm. And that is, well, people buy Rizla. If exactly. I was selling Rizla... Exactly. I don't care what they're doing with the Rizla. Exactly. I sell someone paint. I don't care what you do with the paint. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can you can make patterns out of it. I don't care. Mm. You know what? You've come. You bought the paint. You know what? I'm, I'm providing us a service for you. Yeah. But it's nice. It's better you know than it being mean? nicked by other stuff from exactly. other establishments, isn't it? Because if there was no if, if there was no cages up in here, paint would. Someone would have that thing to that like, raise a couple cans of paint. You'd be running around yeah, knowing right, exactly what they're doing and appreciating every minute of it, but give me back the bug of paint. Yeah, come on, man. Listen, listen, <laughs> let's put it back in it. Oh, you've got a little mini baseball bat coming towards you. <laughs> yeah. And that's only the half of it. Just put, yeah, that's a, just like one or two of us. It's just like 45,000 of us are still, you've got, you got to fuck with. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's just, as I say, this, for me in here, it's, it is the hubbiest. You, you meet all different people. Yeah. As I say, young, old, you just take it, take your hat off to what they're still doing. That's right. And also there's a lot of street art, university types that look yeah. for these spots and then they do their stuff for their art. They've, you know, they've got the, they've got the uh, university uh, fee advances, so, you know, lending exactly, the pocket here. Exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. But no, as I say, it's just when, when, you see, when you see people coming in and I remember one time this, this girl coming and I said, I said to Rosie, I went, right, make sure you ask it for ID. And all. Hold tight, Rosie. Next minute, the, 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 she's going, have you got any ID? And she went, I'm 42. <laughs> I just looked, I went, oh, she went, I get this all the time. She went, because I've got, I've got such a young face. Mm. She went, I have to carry my ID on my passport with me all the time. Really? It was, I thought, mm. wow. If I, if I was, when I was your age, I'd love to be still young like that, like fresh-faced, mm. you know what I mean? Creativity, but, the fountain of youth is exactly, real. Exactly, exactly. Do something right, it's always occupy and keep yourself at keep yourself at ease, you know what I mean? When Trust me, the pixelations ain't doing its justice right here. Yeah. This, man, this man looks Peter Pan business guy. <laughs> right man ain't really slept. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, but that's just... used to, that's, that's kind of standard graffiti writer behaviour, isn't it? Exactly. Do you right. think that's affected your, your you know, your sleeping patterns? You know, because you guys would do, you'd bleach an all night, wouldn't you? 
Yeah, my, 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 I could sit there and have like three hours sleep and then I'd be all good. But obviously, I was with, with the missus yesterday, I had a little drink, all that, mm. and a little couple smokes. Uh, that was it. Next me look up, it's like half five in the morning. It's like, wow, I need to go to sleep. Mm. You know what I mean? You're going to sleep, and then bang, next me, you got to get up. Mm. It's like, what? So is it Sunday or what? Is it Monday or something? Oh, got to go work. But yeah, fly down here on, on, on the scoots. It's easy. You lot on your scoots, I swear to God. They're, they're addictive as well. Don't ever ride one of them things if you've never done it. Trust me, you'll be buying one in a week's time. Exactly, exactly. I bought four of them so far. <laughs> All, all, all three of them are all, all, all fucked up. I still got this one here. And that's, this is on the way out as well. So I'm going to get number five, but hopefully get my car soon as well. Yeah, and then you're four-wheel. Now it's really dangerous. Then it's dangerous. <laughs> Don't even go on the pavement because I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming in the car. I'm coming in the car. That's why even mm. with, when we're in, out there with full sometimes, man drives like a nutter. Mm, no, I it's didn't funny. Prefer, you know. It's funny. It's um, funny. Tell me, as, as time goes on and the mature graffiti, graffiti writer's head, you know, turns its attention to different things, what are you looking for? Uh, you know, at, at this young age you're at, what do you look for in graph? What are you looking for in a writer? For me, it's, 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 it's so if you ask someone that, when I was younger, mm. I'd just say, just carry on doing what you're doing, just, just keep on progressing, just, just do the right thing, really. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you see most people now that have join up with, in gangs and all that, and it's running around with knives, and what, we, yeah. what we're doing is running around with spray paint. Mm. You know what I mean? So we're not we're not hurting no one. We're just doing the right things. Like obviously it keeps people mind occupied as well. Yeah, keeping and them occupied, isn't it? Obviously you're doing what you're doing, but you know what? Everyone takes every everyone takes that risk. Everyone yeah. takes that chance. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's a fucking huge risk. Exactly. You know what I mean? So it's people that's lost their lives. Yeah. Doing what they what they what what they love doing. Yeah. It, it is a, it is a love. It's like it's like it's like you're married. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like you you can't stop. You can't stop. Nothing gets in the way in your head, does it? No. Do you think no, that'll ever no. end? It won't. It won't. It won't. It won't ever end. The only time it ends is when I'm I'm, I'm six foot under. Have it's you ever had time. any near death experiences? No, nah, not near. But like looking it back now, when I was surfing, going through Finchley Road Tunnel, but I was surfing on the side of the train. Finchley Road Tunnel. Yeah. Surfing through the side of the train, like zombie, I tell you. I was hanging on, hanging on my fingertips. I was drinking a, I was drinking a, a, a kestrel then, and I was banging on the window, going oi oi. And what? then they, oh, 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 they just went, oh my gosh, put his head, put his head in his hands. And then when I got, when I look at it now, and I go through that tunnel, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I could have got hit by anything. Yeah. But then I had baggy clothes on, could have got snagged on anything. I just think, wow. Anything could have happened, bro. Anything I could have, the look I could have got snagged on a sign, the light, the the traffic lights, anything. And does that play on your mind? Is that there a conscious kind of feeling of, fuck? I wish, not a regret. That's tough, because you live and you learn. Exactly. I never yeah. regretted it. It was just when I looked at it now, I think if I knew what I knew now back then, mm. I wouldn't surf through that side of the side of the train going through that tunnel. No, no, no. When I look, as I say, when I look at it, I think. Look, look at that little thing there, that, that thing sticking out. It's, yeah. it's, it's, Does it send shakes? It must send yeah, shakes. It says, sometimes it sends shivers down my spine. It's like, wow, I could have got hit by anything. Mm. It's just, but back then, I, I, didn't, I didn't have a care in the world. Because you're young and hot yeah. and you're not thinking. I was this. young and stupid, you know what I mean? But I did not have a care in the world. Mm. So my mum used to say to me, listen, don't, don't let your dad find out that you're like riding on buses. Because my dad used to be a bus driver. And then one time I got on his bus... And I battered his bus. Oh, shit. Oh, and then when he got home, listen, <laughs> I, I had to dust out the house because I was in trouble. Yeah. I yeah, was yeah. in trouble. Yeah, but as I said, I, I didn't care. It just I had no care in the world. You know what I mean? wasn't hurting no one. The, I think that's you know the real I mean? thing. Like, and again, we're just heightening and documenting things that have led to the, the graffiti explosion in a with all of its positivity, you know. Exactly, exactly. If, like, if I, if I was, if, imagine Santa Zombie, like when we was younger, I oh, reckon you, do you reckon you, do you have a paint shop one day? Mm. He'd be like, no. Mm. But now look what he's got now. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's just, he, he, he's grown from, he, it makes me proud, you know mm. what I mean? Because obviously I see 
grew up together, but it does it makes me proud that I say, yeah, he, he he's done something and all the paint he's had over the years where he's raised, he could have had he could have had this shop yeah. like back back then. He could have done this from his bedroom. Yeah, yeah. How much paint he had. But it's yeah, I take my hat off to him yeah, what he's done. Real. What he's done. Mad in it, the way the world works and who'd have thunk it? Exactly, exactly, exactly. And if anything, with, it, with the shop being the way it is, there is a level. I mean, I know it don't come into that. It's a little bit deep. But there's mentoring there. There's things that you guys... You're, you're straight from the horses. He was like, like my mentor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Give me my first, like my first outline and my first, like my first throw up. And it's like... It's, 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 the things never changed. Like, my tags never changed. Mm. Like we were saying yesterday... Your, your style, the way you, it's, it's all joint up. It's, mm. e it's wicked, it's mm. easy. Oh, it's, you boys, I mean, I think, I don't, I, think there's a, I don't think there's a trip that goes by where I don't get you to tag something. One of you. If you're in, I'm like, oh, just, just, just to watch. Exactly. It's, it's nice. Like, for me, that, that, that was the main thing of graphing it, hand styles. Yeah. Once you had a good hand style... You're off to the races, That's yeah. it, you're just, you're just out there. Because mm. when I was younger, like, you had the, the likes of, like, Hayes Rock. He used to do the back of the bus windows with the fattest marker pen ever. Every single bus used to go into other Hayes Rock. That's a new name right, for me. Yeah, wow. This, it, that, now, that's all. That's South. Uh, uh, that was South Riders. Then you had South that, London. Uh, legendary shit. Like Berserk, rest in peace. Mm. He smashed it. All the original like HMV, like Her Majesty's Vandals. What? Yeah, we was, we was out there. Oh, we that's was out, the we was coldest out there. name I've yeah. heard. HMV, Her Majesty's Vandals. I once heard there was, and I, I think they were based in Kent. There was a there was a crew called Tag Touch and Go. Yeah, Touch. You had Hit and Run. Yeah. Oh, you had so like TNT, the Nation's Tops. You had there were so many crews like uh, LAB, Lilford Art Bombers, and then like Crime Busters. Crime. Yeah, Crime Waves. Yes. It was different. Kings and Queens. Like, it was super sick. consideration when you think about oh, it's vandalism, but there's a real articulation to what was being trying to be conveyed, wasn't it? Yeah. It's like for me, like when we was out there, when we were doing buses, like when we was all in HMV, it was just like it was so many of us as well. Huh. And like most of us went to the same school, you know what I mean? Then you should go and link up with link up with um zombie. Mm. Or back then that's where he was writing rate. To go out there, it's like he was like he was doing right, like crime busters as well. I've got to shout out Fume as well because uh, yeah, like Fume. all of you lot, you all had different Fume bands. For days. Yeah, yeah, whole type band. Uh, listen, all you, you, it wasn't just one name. It's like, I can't believe it. Sometimes people tell me, that, I'm like, what that as well? Yeah, sub as well. Whole type sub, like Shit. so many different. Oh, names and names and names and reams. Exactly, and reams and reams. you can you can read off so many names. It's just like it, it's, it's it's crazy. And it, it's mind blowing. Yeah, that's why I love it. The the the, the new generate the generation today, how they're going out there. Just they they just ain't got they ain't, they ain't got a care in the world. You know what? I'm going over. Whoever I'm going over, mm. that's it. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna go over you. That's all it is. It's just like I say, people sometimes have to, once you learn their history, mm. knowing what people have done mm. and and how they've done what they've done, mm. it's crazy. Mm. It's crazy. Yeah, you gotta get, gotta get, gotta get those reference points. I think that's the sentiment of the podcast. Yeah, really, exactly. It? If you were to take exactly. away anything, it's like you know, all these opportunities are here, and uh, utilize them, but also go back to go forward. Exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. That's the main thing, anyway. You just, it's just doing what you're doing, isn't it? But yeah. Well, look, <laughs> the shop's open. It's yeah. good for business. We're out exactly. here doing it. We're outside, and they're here. Come exactly. to Chrome and Black. Be part of the culture, be part of the scene. Hackney Central. Yeah. We're just down the road. 276 bus, two stops. Easy. We're there. Easy. Ev, easy. Always Kills. a pleasure. Bless my brother. It's been it's been emotional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been lovely. Trust me, it's been lovely. It's been a long time. Yeah, it's well worth it. Yeah, isn't it? you've been on me. And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's you know love. I mean. It's love. And again, everyone's always welcome in the spot, man. Hold tight, yes. Ev, man. Wicked kill. Yes. Listen. Bless. Killer Cala podcast, what more do you want, yeah? Out like it was out of fashion. It's like EastEnders. We're every Thursday, all right? So keep an eye on it, sharing is caring, and tell fucking people about it, all right? Doing this for my fucking health. Get involved. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Killer Cala podcast, we out like it was out of fashion. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> Peace.